In many of your drawings, you're often changing the height alignment of your wall cabinets, probably even staggering, and often changing the depth line of your base cabinets. We can do that very easily, and let me use this as an example. I'm going to zoom in on the lower left-hand corner of our kitchen, and you will see here that we have three wall 3336s. My default in my system is set at 84 inches, which means these three cabinets are at minimum uh, six inches too low on the wall. There's three different ways for us to make adjustments to heights where wall cabinets are attached to your wall. First way, we will do it from the floor plan. We right click on the cabinet, we highlight it, and in the list is an option called up down. And right in the middle of the screen, the question appears. It wants to know what the bottom of that cabinet should be. Well, that bottom alignment should be 54 inches. So I'll type in 54 and click OK. It's already adjusted. A second way to do it is click inside of the workspace and let's open up an elevation. So we clicked in the workspace, we will right click on the floor plan and we will open up an elevation. And you'll notice that my first cabinet has already been adjusted. Well, when you're working in an elevation, we have a one-click edit for changing the height on a wall. And that is, you hold your left hand button down on your mouse right on the object, and you can just move it to the height that you want. It'll snap right into place. Let's take a look at what we've done. We'll do a perspective of that wall, and you will notice as I move back, just give it a moment. You'll notice that both the left two cabinets have moved up, but the third has not. Well, interestingly enough, in your perspective, you can modify the height too. If we right-clicked on that cabinet, we choose up-down while in the perspective, we can move that up and snap it right to the other two cabinets. So three ways to change your top alignments. Whatever is the easiest and most comfortable for you, use that. We also have the ability to change the depth line. Now, as an example, let's zoom in on the sink base. You may be pulling a sink base three inches from the wall, maybe using angled fillers right and left. If you wanted to pull this sink base three inches from the wall, you would right click on it, highlight it, move down to, in this case, in and out, and to the left, see right here where it says distance from wall? All I have to do is type in the distance from wall. Three, hit enter, and now my sink base has been pulled from the wall exactly three inches.